Hey, this is Corey from Wolfpack Woodcraft, and this week's book is 100 Deadly Skills Survival Edition, uh, the sealed operative guide to surviving in the wild and being prepared for any disaster. Now, I'm not going to go over, over every single chapter. <clears throat> there's a hundred of them, but the topics I will go over. So there's a topic, and then it has a whole bunch of chapters of different scenarios and situations dealing with that topic. And the topics are personal preparedness, navigation, survival in the wild, uh, defending your domain, securing public spaces, neutralizing public safety threats, disaster survival, signaling for help, and emergency medicines. And so there's all these different topics, and then it goes into a hundred different situations, uh, not for each one, but all together. And so what you'll end up having is you have a page that talks about the situation and all the information that they can give and then on the other side is a picture and that has your uh, minimum EDC mountain environment your CONOP which stands for a uh, concept of operation everyday carry requirements for mountain operation and then you have the pictures itself which are your Course of action, COAs. Uh, here's a little trick. Caroline started reading this book, so I don't want to lose her spot. But I use note cards as bookmarks, and then I write down little notes to help me remind myself what all this stuff means. And then at the bottom of each picture, you have a black line that's B L U F, which is bottom line up front. One is none, and two is one. And so you have everything you need, and then the next page. There's a new situation, a new scenario, same thing, text on this side, pictures on that side. And so it's just a full book of one page, <clears throat> build efficient mountain shelter, and then how to do it on this side. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so it's a really great book. It's very easy to read. Uh, there's a hundred things, so you could read one a day, and it's just the two pages. It's the one page of text which takes a while to read, and then the other way, the other side is pictures. Uh, there are a couple in here that do go into multiple uh, pages, but there's not very many. Usually it's just one wall of text, one page of images, and I really like it. Uh, outsmart a virtual kidnapper. And so again, you have the text on the one side and the images on the other to help you understand everything. Uh, this one... Uh, choke out a bad guy and they use pens and a charge uh, phone charging cable right and it's all these things that you might not think of you know like I wouldn't think of using uh, I would think of using a phone charger as a defensive tool but the pens allow you to get more leverage uh, more grip so that you don't lose it it's those little things that I really appreciated in this book, but it's also things that I never would have thought of at all. Uh, one of the things in here is uh, how to avoid your ship being taken over by pirates or something like that. And the one of the things is uh, they use fire hose and they use the fire hose to shoot water at the person driving the boat to try to get them to flip, trying to get to deter them away from your ship. And if it doesn't deter them and they do come to the ship, to just throw the fire hoses over the edge of the boat. Because with them loose, they're going to be flopping around like a snake, you know what I mean? And nobody's going to want to get close to that ship if knowing that they could get hit in the head with the end of a fire hose. Those things are no joke. Uh, getting hit by one of those is not going to be a good day. And so by just throwing it over, it gives them a distraction. And then it, you, they use... a. Uh, Molotov cocktails to set the pirate ship on fire and so it's just a way to make sure that they don't want anything to do with you but what it did for me like the chances of me ever needing to attack pirates are probably zero percent right like that's not information that I'm probably ever going to use but what it did is it got me thinking about a fire hose uh, it got me thinking about you know I never really thought about using it as a way of defending myself right 
those fire hoses have a lot of pressure and they put out a lot of water very quickly. And so then I started thinking about, you know, I could flood a vehicle, uh, I could flood a home. Uh, if there was something going on, if there was like a kidnapper situation, if I was locked up and I had a, access to a hose, I could start flooding the area, which is going to get people's attention. And it's that way of thinking, you know, that, yeah, it was pirates and a fire hose, but because I've never thought about using a hose that way, it started, my mind started wandering onto different things of what a hose could be used for, how it could be used for uh, survival and personal protection and all these different things inside this book. And so I really recommend this book. I like it a lot. It's one of my favorite books. Uh, I'm never going to get rid of it. I really appreciate it. And I have read it cover to cover. But what I find myself doing now is I'll open it up and I'll just look at the pictures. I won't read the text, but I'll look at it. So this is a barricade outward opening doors. And then it has examples and pictures. Uh, counter purse snatcher. And so then I just, I just look at the pictures and it's a good reminder for me of what I read and how to deal with different things. And there's always something in here that I forgot that I'm like, oh, I should write that down or something so I remember it. I don't need to write it down because I have the book. So with that being said, leave any knowledge or questions in that comment section. Make sure to share these videos to people that really love books, whether they're like outdoor, survival, or bushcraft. I have a book for everyone. Links will be in the description box down below. And I can't wait to see you on my next video.